Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem on springs. It is from work power energy and uh, it's an original problem. So slightly out of the leak uh, in this uh, problem we will be calculating heat generated in the spring. And guys liking, sharing, subscribing is love. So keep liking, keep sharing and keep subscribing. So here is the problem statement. A block of mass M is hanging from a massless spring of spring constant K. Initially the block is in equilibrium. In this position uh, the length of the spring is Z. Now an agent is holding a point P at a distance of 2Z by 3 from the top and displaces it downward uh, by a distance of X. First thing we have to find here is work done by the agent and number two is find the initial acceleration of the block if agent releases the point P after displacing it by X. So after shifting it here he is just suddenly releasing it and uh, uh, third part is heat generated in the process just after release. So one thing I have to mention here that agent is uh, pulling this point very slowly. I haven't men mentioned in the problem statement but this is what we will be dealing with. So let's discuss this uh, problem here. So I'm assuming here natural length of the spring is L0. So in equilibrium its uh, extension is going to be instantaneous length minus uh, uh, natural length which is I'm calling it as Z star. So guys purposefully I have written this as in this format otherwise uh, since everything is proportional so you can directly deal this problem with the Z and uh, 2Z by 3Z by 3. So, but just to be careful, I have written it like this. Otherwise, I for uh, normal solving, I'll be directly using uh, Z by 3 and 2Z by 3. Anyways, so this Z star value is uh, Z minus L0. So you can see the it will not make any effect in the solution whether you deal with instantaneous length or you are dealing with the extensions. The, the conceptually, we should deal with extensions here. All right. So now when we are, uh, uh, when this spring is in equilibrium, and this is the point P which agent will be shifting. So I can treat this as a combination of two springs in series. So one is K1 and another one is K2. And uh, since it is proportional to length here, I can say extension in the upper part is uh, 2Z by 3 and extension in this part is Z by 3, Z star by 3. All right. And KZ star is Mg in equilibrium. We already know that. Now since we are uh, taking these two springs uh, in the form of uh, uh, series connection, I can just simply write K1 into change in this part and K2 into change in this part and that is equal to Kz. Kz is the total extension here. So this is the property of uh, spring. From here I can find out uh, the K1 and K2 value. K1 is 3K by 2 and k2 is uh, 3k so extension here is z star by 3 and here it is 2z star by 3 all right now here comes the next part now when the point p is uh, shifting uh, down by a distance of x very slowly then the upper part alone gets extended and the lower part will be in the same state as before we can verify by checking the force balance on the lower part of the spring or on the block Right. So what I'm trying to say here is when we are uh, shifting this point, the the extension of X shall come from the upper part alone and the lower part uh, will have same extension as before and it will be moving down very slowly so that forces are balanced on this mass M. Right. You can uh, try to imagine and you will be getting the idea of this part. So you can see uh, during the shifting the extension or the shape of the spring will look something like this. This part will get more extended compared to this part. I have tried to draw this but uh, it's not a very good drawing but you can uh, feel it. The extension of X will come in the upper part and this will be more extended. That means in this part now the total extension will become 2Z star by 3 into X. And in the lower part, since it is moving same as before and all the time forces are balanced very slowly, we are shifting it. So extension here will be same as before, which is Z star by 3. All right. And agent forces downward and it's a massless point. So forces must be balanced here. So F agent is down. K2 Z star by 3 is down. And this K1 2 Z by 3 plus X in upward direction so since forces are balanced I can just write the balancing equation and I'll be getting uh, F agent is equal to 
k1x which is 3k by 2x so work done by agent is very easy to calculate from here and that will become uh, 3k by 2 into x dx when i simplify i am going to get this w agent uh, as 3k x square by 4 this is going to be the answer for first part now the second part is the actually the the challenging part or uh, most of us don't know never heard about it because uh, we normally don't deal with the uh, heat generation in the spring all right so here you can see heat release in the spring we will consider two stages where uh, agent is holding this point p at the new location and he is just releasing so what is going to happen is we have just dealt with the, this uh, situation so the moment this uh, agent will remove this force what is going to happen is uh, in this net force will be unbalanced and it is a, a massless spring of very negligible mass so you can say it will accelerate very quickly so please remember whenever such sudden processes occur there is a high chance that uh, heat will be generated we have seen this in case of uh, switching we have seen this case of uh, in this case of uh, uh, surface tension where sudden processes are involved so uh, heat will be generated in this case and we will verify this how exactly heat is generated so almost instantly uh, this spring will have uniform extension throughout the length now the total extension in this part is uh, z star the initial one plus extra which we have uh, given to this mass m by pulling it down so i have written here since the part point p is uh, massless just after release the spring will come to the uh, come in uniform extension almost instantly all right almost instantly we will come to the uniform extension of this let's calculate energy of uh, these two parts i'm calling just before release the energy of this part is uh, e1 and just after release energy of this system here is e2 so i can write e1 as half k1 and in the upper part 2z by 3 x so this much potential energy and in the lower part we are writing the potential energy here and since we are comparing these two so uh, there will not be any involvement of gravitational potential energy all right now when i simplify this by substituting the values i am getting a very nice answer here half k z star square plus 3 by 4 k x square plus k z star x i am not showing this calculation all values are known so you can just uh, simply uh, simplify this and e2 is this is entire uniform uh, spring and i can write half k z star plus x whole square so when i simplify this i am getting uh, a half k z square uh, half k z star square half k x square k z star x when i uh, take the difference these two energies are not same so when i take the energy difference e1 minus e2 i realize there is some loss in energy so this uh, loss in energy will will come in the form of heat or in general any energy losses so when i subtract this i am going to get kx square by 4 so this heat generated is going to be kx square by 4 this is going to be the answer i hope guys you have enjoyed uh, this problem and there must be something new for you because these are not traditional problems you don't get uh, these kind of ideas normally in uh, je books uh, but such type of question can definitely come in je advance exam so initial acceleration of the block now it's very easy once uh, spring becomes uniform it is a kz star uh, plus x uniform spring mg is downward so just after removing the point p very quickly spring will come into its uh, 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 uniform extension and then this block will start moving upward so when i write this f of minus mg is equal to ma so this a block will come as kx by m this is going to be the answer for uh, the next part here and final part of this question guys one very important announcement is there this sunday that is uh, uh, august 22nd at 11 am you'll be uh, there is uh, an academy itj mega combat exam and uh, there are a lot of prizes also and the best part of it is you will be getting all new problems newly framed newly constructed questions so you can check your potential uh, with respect to other students this exam is quite popular among uh, students and many many students will be writing this it's a time bound exam so definitely it will help you in improving your uh, speed and uh, from this exam you can uh, get 
almost four crore plus uh, scholarships. It is at eleven uh, o'clock, and uh, yeah, rank one. Uh, Rank one to three will be getting one year IDG plus subscription. Four to ten, seventy five percent scholarship. Uh, so for uh, one fifty rank, there is uh, something nice. All right. So for uh, in the three categories, you can write eleventh class, twelfth class, and twelfth uh, pass. So this is it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this problem and it has brought something extra in your knowledge. And if that is the case, please leave a like, share this video with others, and. Uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.